times must I bang your mom before you realize you are something special like the Special Olympics special. Stunt dummies are exactly that. They pull stunts and they are dummies. We got something special, motherfucker. Uh, thanks to Tommy, Tommy P, Tommy Space, Tommy P, for suggesting this idiotic imbecilic video to me. This is a hit piece on First Amendment auditors. It's propaganda. It's, uh, you know, there, there's hundreds of us now. There's hundreds of auditors now. It started out with, and I'm not necessarily an auditor, but I have audited. I definitely don't specialize in it. It's not easy. It's not cheap. It's very time consuming. And it's risky. This guy here is stunt dummy. Stunt dummy right here. He he tries to make a he tries to group us all in together with the four or five auditors that he covers here. Okay. So here here I'll give you some free publicity, stunt dummy. This is stunt dummy's channel. Who I subscribe to this crap? Get out of here. What was I thinking? Maybe just to remember where to find this so I could tear it apart. So this guy wanted to practice editing with cinematic music. And this is the resulting video. I am pondering the idea of making a full-length documentary about the history of auditing and what it has become. What has it become, dude? You didn't have not covered any of the auditing movement. You're going to see how bad of a hit piece this is, so... Let's watch this. If you don't want to hear me talking and you want to watch this propaganda without my opinion over it, go to Stunt Dummies channel and watch it. So here's his, uh, what he believes is his interpretation of why auditing is dead. It appeared to be a routine call to a traffic crash in Davis, California. Rookie pol okay, what does auditing and traffic crashes have to do with anything? Let's start right there. It began with a routine traffic crash. Auditors don't really audit traffic crashes. They're more interested in filming in public buildings that we own and making sure the people who work there understand that we have the freedom to do so without being harassed, ID'd, uh, detained, assaulted, battered. You understand that stunt dummy? What does traffic accidents have to do with anything? As a matter of fact, Cops should be at traffic accidents. There's victims there. There's damages there. That's where cops belong. When I see cops at a traffic accident, I'm like, good. They're not out stealing somebody's money. They're actually helping the citizens. Sir, 22-year-old Natalie Corona. So he's, he's pulling the factor that this is a young female whose aspirations it was to become a cop because she fell for the blue line propaganda. It's probably uh, hereditary, probably runs in our family, I'm sure. They're all thinking blue line, blue lines, everything, blue lines, heroes. And this is what this guy's trying to do here, this stunt dummy. Responded when for reasons still unclear, someone opened fire. Okay, so someone, some psychopath or whoever went up to this traffic accident with this rookie police officer and shot and killed her. What does that have to do with auditing at all? A witness tells the Sacramento Bee Corona was talking to drivers when an apparent bystander ambushed the officer at close range. Nice gun sound effects there. Being a police officer is one of the... You know, cops shoot and kill three people a day. Or they kill three people a day. I don't know if they shoot them, but they kill at least three people a day. It's actually more than three people a day because it's what? 1200 a year you divide it by 365 it's just like three point something people per day more than three people a day are being murdered by police and the first thing you lead off with in why auditing is dead is some rookie cop getting shot by a not an auditor auditors have you ever seen has an auditor ever killed anyone the most stressful jobs out there but it's being made worse it's one of the most stressful jobs out there it's like number 14 
in most dangerous jobs. Roofers and garbage men are more dangerous jobs than police officers. The only reason it's stressful is because they're expected to strap on these huge, cumbersome costumes and all this weaponry to go around and steal money from citizens that they know the citizens are going to be pissed. Why do you think cops do so many murder-suicides? In Tampa PD alone, last year, two cops murdered them, their families and themselves. You think that's a coincidence, stunt dummy? By, people. By the way, I guess I'm still commercially viable as of this moment. People who seem to be taunting them, trying to provoke a reaction. They say they film police to hold them accountable, but is it really... Well, okay, taunting them, trying to get a reaction. First of all, the First Amendment says we have the freedom of press. So walking up to public servants doing a public lawful activity should be no problem whatsoever. It's the police, the people with the guns are always the aggressor that comes to the auditor slash cameraman slash press. Just because they don't work for CNN doesn't mean they're not press. And if you don't believe they're press, then you don't believe in the Constitution, stunt dummy. Material for social media. So we do get to bring the happy kill the cop station. So this, right away he goes to the most extreme auditor, Eric Brand. But he'll never show how Eric Brand has been slighted or how he's come to this conclusion of being a homeless guy who's had to learn the law better than the people who work in the law office. He has to put judges in check. Why don't you cover when Eric Brandt puts the judge in check because he knows the rules of the court better than the judge himself? Why aren't you putting that in your little video here? All you're putting is, and I've never seen this. I don't know what he's thinking here. Eric's probably trying to push the envelope of free speech here. And yes, this is an extreme sign right here. So good job cherry picking the most extreme example. Fine. <laughs> that does not represent 99.9% .9 of the auditing community and its followers. You understand what you're doing here, right, stunt dummy? Shoot random judges. And don't forget to shoot the police. Now, does he mean shoot him with a camera or a gun? I don't know if that's in context. And Eric, Eric, I wish you wouldn't say stuff like that, man, because we should be nonviolent. People are going to look at your videos, and they're going to say, this guy's being obnoxious, he's being rude. Some people would say that you're simply... So he's being obnoxious, and rude, and a jerk. So that's so far, that's the accusations of First Amendment auditors. Rude, obnoxious jerks. And, or, and, and we're only talking about... So far, they've shown what? Three auditors. Padilla, I don't know who the other guy was, and Eric Brandt. Antagonizing law enforcement in order to get a reaction out of them. And that you're acting like... Antagonizing them how? Why would exercising your rights antagonize a, an officer who's sworn to protect those rights? The officer should be celebrating the citizens exercising the rights that the police swore to protect. Right, stunt dummy? A jerk. Uh, yeah, it's not against the law to be a jerk. And I'm certainly advocating for lawlessness. Corona had only been patrolling solo for a few weeks. The Founding Fathers advocated for lawlessness. That's how we want our freedom, stunt dummy. When she was sworn in, her father, a retired... Again, now we're back to a completely irrelevant situation of some psychopath murdering this police officer who was actually doing a good job on a traffic stop. Not a stop, but a traffic accident where there's victims and damages. She was doing her job correctly, and she was murdered by some punk. It has nothing to do with us, idiot. He proudly pinned her badge on her chest. Shoot the police. I'm so, do you know what the mistake was? That she fell for the propaganda of being a proud American police officer. That's such a facade. We see through that. That's done. That's over. Escorted Officer Corona's body from the hospital, paying tribute to a fallen hero. So we do get to bring the happy... And right back to Eric Brandt. So he's shown three auditors so far. And he's and he's trying to claim that this represents all of us. Kill the cops, they fine. <laughs> Okay, 
so now you're showing them engaged in civil disobedience and free speech so you obviously have a problem with that too that has weaponized youtube what has cnn done with the tv and uh, abc and uh, msnbc and fox have they now weaponized the tv and cable and satellite services you're a one-sided punk dude So he does so obviously stunt dummy doesn't like free expression, civil disobedience, or the ability to disseminate information on a wide scale like the media does on TV. They're the only ones that should have a voice. Their opinions on police and government and how everything's going down. It should be the reality for everybody, even though we have the ability of critical thinking and can see otherwise. Look out the window, bud. What you're preaching here is not reality. It's your distorted uh, a manipulation of what you're trying to portray us as. This is so intellectually dishonest, it's disgusting. There's like 175 people watching. Does freedom fighting require random killing? This is an activism. Where did you get the, where are you getting the notion that freedom fighting requires random killing? Who is putting that out you've shown one person eric brandt besides him who has ever said that who believe me you would consider george washington a terrorist because the, the founders for taxing their tea or whatever trying to get their arsenal started shooting and you, you're, you're calling us extremists you're an idiot Again with the stupid music and you, you go through the comments you're gonna see a lot of people fall for this nonsense again back to the irrelevant uh, non-parallel argument that you are trying to say this woman a beautiful woman was murdered because of First Amendment auditors dude you are such a disingenuous punk was the guy a First Amendment auditor? Did they catch him? Where's the facts? I mean, it's great cinematic music. Don't get me wrong. Now you're showing a cemetery. What does that have to do with anything? 1,200 Americans are put in graves just like that by police officers. Social justice warriors, huh? No, not even close, motherfucker. Freedom fighters. Again, he's showing the most extreme auditors, Eric Abadie, Eric and Abadie in Colorado. Big difference. We're out here on the road. We could and, really. And Patrick, too, another guy I don't really agree with. He's an antagonist. Yes. So now he's showing four auditors and he's saying why four out of hundreds. Four out of hundreds. Jeff Gray is a great auditor, right? I, let me think of some more. Help with our hotel. Rogue Nation. And a hotel co Freeman. Costs and expenses, so if you could help us. And then now you're showing Patrick Roth News Now, Patrick, asking for money from PayPal. You don't have to give him money. You have you have the option. You understand that? No one's forcing you to watch. No one's forcing you to give money. You're upset because these people actually have support. That, you're butthurt, just like the police. That we can see through the blue line. You know what's on the other side of that? Blue line? Oh, Lord. Donate to the pay. The First Amendment is being exploited for profit. House. No, 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 there's no, I don't believe there's any auditor that's gotten rich from auditing or turned a profit, so to speak. There's five kids in here. Five? Have enough? Oh, now let's show two, uh, a random clip of police officers giving children stickers because that personifies what police are in America. You want a sticker, bud? Yeah, sure. Here, come get stickers for all of you. Oh. You okay? Go ahead, come get stickers for all of you. Sorry, I like the other two. No. You better fight me, motherfucker! Again, back to Eric Brand. He's showing the most extreme examples. This isn't by accident. Why not 
leaving the property, Buckleberry! Oh my god, he yelled at obscenities in America where there's free speech. Oh, that's why the girl at the beginning of the video got shot because Eric said that that cop's pussy hurt because the cop's pussy was hurting. Man, stun dummy, man. This is great stuff. You should do a full length documentary exposing all of us. Or you can do a live debate with me anytime you want if you have the if you have the fucking balls. Do not fucking touch me again. So a cop has touched Eric here. And again, Eric, Eric, Eric. Eric doesn't represent the hundreds of us, dude. Don't be a, a disingenuous bitch. Identify yourself! Now he gets assaulted. I mean, what are you showing? The cops will never back off you. They're the ones who escalate. They're the ones who make contact. They're the ones that constantly interfere in Americans' lives and kill three Americans a day, stunt dummy. Hey. First Amendment is being abused. The First Amendment is for unpopular speech, not your one of the run of the mill bootlicking propaganda. Here, a woman asks McGuire if he's taking do. And now we're going to the, another one of the most extreme guys, Ian McGuire. Most of the auditing community doesn't agree with News Now Patrick, Eric Brandt. Uh, who is this? Ian McGuire. We don't agree with them, dude. You're an idiot. Donations for the deceased officers, to which he responds, Oh, I'm not, uh, I'm not supporting them, man. I'm supporting the guy who shot them. You're supporting police who murder 1,200 people a year. Do you see the hypocrisy stunt dummy? They're self-appointed Second Amendment auditors. Self-appointed. You, the Second Amendment is an unalienable right. Just because Americans like you are scared of guns and will call 911 if you see anything that rubs your panties the wrong way doesn't mean you can lean on our rights. There's no fail to ID. Yeah, everybody knows who I that was an infamous YouTuber and self-proclaimed Second Amendment auditor involved in another run-in with police. What do you mean involved in another run-in? He's lawfully exercising his rights. Then the police come and contact him for lawful activity, stunt dummy. In April, when we first told you about him, after a number of people called 911, concerned about seeing a man walking around town carrying an AR-15. Oh my God, there's a guy actually exercising his rights afforded to him by his creator and, and reinforced by the Constitution. What's going on in this free country? These YouTube channels are owned by ex extremists. Who's more extreme than the police, you moron? They investigate themselves. They don't have to follow the same rules we do. They rarely, if ever, get in trouble. They murder 1,200 people a year. They've raped hundreds of women and children since 2014. Are you seriously going to do a full-length documentary? Because I'll spend four days destroying that nonsense. You're an extremist. You're a blue-line extremist. Domestic terrorism. Domestic terrorism. The police have become domestic terrorists. A terrorist is someone who uses violence or threats of violence for political reasons. Hello. They're a textbook. Textbook definition. No justice. They spread their hate for police with social media. We hate when police break the law and the, they swore to uphold. 
the Constitution. I'm sorry, stunt dummy, that you don't believe in the Constitution and the freedoms that are afforded to you. Here's what I say to all you morons who don't believe in the Constitution. Go to your governor and tell him that you want to relinquish all the rights afforded to you by the Bill of Rights. Since you don't agree with some of them. If you don't agree with one, you shouldn't agree with any. And if you want to get them overturned, you have to do it the constitutional way. You can't just vote my Second Amendment, Second Amendment away, and you can't just pass a law saying, oh, now you can't open carry anymore. That's nonsense. Unalienable. Try reading before making a video. Try gaining the knowledge before making the video. Oh, uh, here we go. So, so he's found, what, four or five, and he found the four or five most extreme examples of this movement. Okay? Now he's going to go to David Earl Warden, News Now Houston, who had some... who had some uh, legal problems with pedophilia or whatever. I don't know the exact truth of it, but when I interviewed the guy, he told me he was driving and he met some girl, didn't realize what her age is. I don't care. That's his personal problem, and I'm not defending what he did. But I will defend his work as an auditor, as he's always been lawful in his actions on the streets while being assaulted by government and caged and battered, you moron. What he did in his personal life in the 80s has nothing to do with his auditing now. Right? And if you support uh, pretty much anyone in the government, somewhere along the line, they're linked to pedophilia. Trust me. Right, Jeffrey? All right, pipe down. David Warden has got a bad pass and he had... So now there's one guy, I think this is Jack Miller, Texas Sheepdog. I'm sure you'll correct me if I'm wrong. One guy is defending David. One. He found the one guy. And he says they're defending registered sex offenders. Who's they? You're a moron, dude. You're being intellectually dishonest. Admits it. He admits he's made mistakes in the past. However, he has not done the things that he's both been accused of or even convicted of. Innocent people are convicted of crimes every single day in this country. Who's not Houston? What was your last name? Who? You. Ward like a prison. Ward prison like a prison ward. David Warden with News Now Houston. Mostly criticize him, but tonight he finds himself in hot water. He's known for does. So the news covers when he gets in trouble, but they don't cover when the FBI assaults him. They don't cover when they consistently violate his rights. Why don't they cover any of that? Can you answer me that stunt dummy? YouTube videos. Why are you over here taking pictures of filming the, the, the facility? So why are you over here? Conducting lawful activity. Sizing law enforcement. <laughs> but I wasn't here already once. But I will say, I will say. And testing the limits of where he can bring his camera. Testing the limits of where he can bring his camera. On public streets and sidewalks. Another hit piece. You sound just like the mainstream media stunt dummy. His interactions captured on video. But this time Earl Warden's face is captured on the mugshot. He's charged in the sexual assault of a child. Warden is also a registered sex offender for a case that happened back in the 80s. We're live and down. In the 80s. 30 years ago. Town Sally Bimdo K. Piercy. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but notice when it's time to do a hit piece on auditors, they can dig stuff up from 30 years ago. And they can handpick five auditors so far. The most extreme auditors you've chosen. You haven't chosen any real auditors. I mean, they're real. Don't get me wrong. They're real. And they have their style. And I don't agree with their style. And the overwhelming majority of us don't use the style they use. But you chose to use them and obfuscate everything else. With breaking news at 11, Charlotte County deputies have arrested a man who is no stranger to law enforcement. You might remember NBC. There we go. Back to Ian McGuire. NBC2 telling you about Ian McGuire. 
The man known in Charlotte County for posting dozens of encounters with law enforcement on YouTube has come face to face with deputies once again. Dozens of guns removed in raid. Guns are not illegal in America, stunt dummy. He agreed to do the interview under one condition. I'll tell you what, let me go grab my video so I can document this. Deputies found around 30 hand and long range guns and cases of ammunition. Oh my God. An American has the freedom to own guns and it's not illegal. That's basically what they're saying here. And then they show him holding an AR-15. I have pictures of me when I took my AR out to the orange groves in Frostproof. Oh my God. I gotta, I gotta lock those up in a safe so someone doesn't make a hit piece and cherry pick those photos about me, and and pretend like that's the only thing I'm about, is my is my AR. And behind the camera is Ian McGuire. Do you think he's taking it too far? Absolutely. It's the most of the auditing community thinks he, Ian McGuire took it too far, stunt dummy. It's harassment. NBC2 decided to. You see any of us rallying around him? Approach McGuire asking him why he's posting the videos that many are up in arms about. One comment on the video saying, bullying old ladies and janitors, what a freedom fighter you are. Do you need these people fighting for the rights you already have? If we already have them, how come we get assaulted when we try to exercise them? They're being eroded, dude. That's the whole point. Exercising your Second Amendment draws gang members with guns. Blue Blue ISIS shows up. You try to have a First Amendment protest, Blue ISIS shows up. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? So I was just filming. And then Furry Potato, another one of the most extreme. So he's picked five or six of the most extreme in the auditing community. And... And watch this. This, this. this lady was auditing, filming a synagogue from public, some foreign, uh, some foreign uh, security guard shoots her. And he's posting this as if she did something wrong. Uh, the exterior of the, uh, of the uh, synagogue here. And getting a lot of the, a lot of like the uh, architecture and all that. Oh! It hits me. I kind of dip. I get behind a Porsche that's uh, over here on the sidewalk. He leaves that gate. Now he comes on the public. He shoots. He shoots her while she's standing on public property, not breaking the law. Then he comes from. His private property he's supposed to be securing on the public property and threatens to murder her. Comes out onto the sidewalk with his gun drawn again and says, try to break in. That was a warning shot. I'll kill you for real next time. I'll kill you. And what are you, why are you showing this stunt dummy to, to prove that furry potato is the problem in this situation? Or trigger happy idiots that don't know anything about the law or the constitution? Or morons like you that hit, put hit pieces out like this. This is disgusting work, dude. You're not objective at all. It's not about AdSense revenue because most of us are demonetized or restricted. And why shouldn't we get paid for our work? Here you are making a video. You put in work. You want people to watch it. You're such a, a moronic hypocrite is breaking down the video and the city's decision to settle the case for just over 40,000. Oh, and to instigate lawsuits. How can we instigate a lawsuit if the government just followed the Constitution that they swore to preserve, protect, and defend? How can we instigate a lawsuit? Obey your oath, and there's no issues. Period. Dollars, Crystal. Yeah, Mark, we're standing on that sidewalk where Terrell Clayton recorded that very same video. Since it's been posted and since that settlement uh, has come through, he's posted several more videos in what looks to become a sport of just standing outside of public buildings and recording himself. A sport of standing outside public buildings and recording. 
why in the world in a free country would that ever be an issue? Why would uh, armed men need to show up to a place where people are assembled, a right in the First Amendment, uh, pressing, conducted in free press, a right of the First Amendment, free speech, a right of the First Amendment. What's the problem? Freedom fighter. I do practice what I preach, stunt dummy. You cherry pick the most extreme examples. You're disingenuous. You've omitted facts and you've taken you've taken a movement that's turning into this and you've turned it into this you myopic loser this is a disgusting and what and now let's go watch uh let's go let's go to the comments here and you see you got bootlickers oh i got a reply from stunt dummy i put this guy loves when cops kill people for jaywalking what a stupid thing to say. It's beneath you, John, really. There. There we go. How many times does it need to happen before you wake up? Oh, here's my next comment to him. Nice cherry pick propaganda hit piece. We can debate on the record whenever you're ready, or you can continue to be a coward your whole life. Police kill three Americans a day, and you're worried about law-abiding camera people who are contacted first. You're quite the mental midget. Let's see what he has to say. I'll debate you anytime you want. There are plenty of Discord servers we could use. Let me know when you want to debate, and I'll send you a link. Balls in your court. Tubby. Ooh, nice. Contact me on Facebook Messenger and I will give you my personal phone number and we can go live on my channel and yours ready when you are oh this is going to be the second guy who's ready to debate me so here i'm covering your video here you have no idea what you're talking about and you're triggered because the truth hurts ha ha if you only knew, go back to playing with coins, John. What truth? Unlike your homeless heroes, my narrative is truth. I have no need to delete your comments like they do to me, so please continue to enjoy your free speech here. All right, good. You're going to love this video, guy. Oh, wait a second. Oh, Archer07 said he'll debate me, not Stunt Dummy. Ah, you debate me. I don't know who Archer is, but Stunt Dummy is the guy I want to debate. He's the one that made the video. Archer, let me see your video, and let me see what you're about, and then we can debate. So, you have no idea what you're talking about, Trigger? Go back to playing with coins. Okay. So, you're scared... To let's see here, you're scared to debate live. I'm assuming. So that's this guy. So yeah. So there you go. There's this hit piece, and he's got people who agree with him in the comments, of course. And here's the truth about what's going on each year in America. Each year, around 14,000 people are murdered. Each year, around 1,200 people are murdered by police officers. Police officers represent about 0.38% of the population. This means you are 22.7 times 
more likely to be murdered by a police officer than anybody else. Stunt dummy. Whenever you're ready, stunt dummy. You, donut operator, Mike the Sovereign Pig, caps for cops, I already shredded the pieces. His Facebook, his Facebook page went down. Bring it. Auditing is dead. There you go, guys. There's my video. There is a truth about police. 22.7 times more likely to be killed by a cop than anybody else. Let that sink in, stunt dummy. And what else? You can also play with my rings. Here you go. Play with my rings. I play with my rings. You play with my rings. You... Hey, bro, this is like a size six right here. If you need one for your, uh, your, you know, your walking liberty, this is my, uh, oh, uh, British half crown. I think I have that one right here. I'm also going to go live here. I don't know. Do a giveaway. I'm probably, yeah. Okay. The get, whatever. Half crown. What else we got here? We got the half crown, the archangel. Angels and demons. Just, I only have three of these left. That's pretty smooth. You be big ball and shot calling. What else we got here? Uh, this is American Silver Eagle. The only, not the only, but I don't know. I don't even know what I was going to say there. It's like a big walking liberty. And then you got the t-shirt store. My t-shirts are cheaper than everybody else. You got your blue ISIS shirt. Relax, it's a camera shirt. Comply or die. I don't answer questions. Extra good citizen. You got this one, the no blue line flag shirt. Get rid of this gang symbol and let's stick to the American flag, if you wouldn't mind. That's it. Thanks for watching. Peace. Tranquility. Chicken grease. Stunt dummy. Your name is perfect. Peace. Everyone take it easy. Have a good day. Thanks for watching my 37-minute video. Man, does time fly when you're having fun. Woo!